my name is Louis Avito, and this is my Breda A400 Extreme Plus. So, this gun is in uh, a 12 gauge. It can handle two and three quarter, three inch, and three and a half inch rounds. It has a 28 inch barrel, and it's in the uh, Timber Optifade camo. Here you can see my bolt is empty, and the gun is empty. Okay, so let's start with the back of the gun. So it's got a nice Breda butt pad. This is the same butt pad that came on the original Breda A400 Extreme. It's got the uh, kickoff mega and kickoff three system to help further reduce recoil. Um, I think the kickoff three includes, uh, I don't remember exactly what all pieces it includes but I know it comes with uh, this new rubber cheek piece which is very nice uh, compared to the other one uh, to handle uh, big magnum rounds. Um, it's supposed to reduce 70% of recoil. I will say this is not as soft as a Benelli Comfort Tech but you still can notice a difference um, when you're shooting it. It's got some nice uh, rubber grips to keep your hands from slipping in wet conditions and it still stays kind of warm uh, during the uh, during like colder temperatures so that's pretty uh, it's pretty interesting observation that I uh, figured out and uh, to go back to around the butt pad you can uh, they have additional uh, replacements to increase uh, uh, you know to better fit this gun to the shooter and it's called it has shims as well the top is uh, uh, drilled and tapped to where you can put a sight and here's some features that I would like to talk about uh, that Beretta uh, added to this gun over the original one and kept the gun uh, basically at the same price as the original I think it was maybe at most, uh, at least when I got this gun, at most a $50 difference compared to the original. And that would include this piece right here and this charging handle and this bolt release. So this is the blink gas operated system. I like the bolt handle on here because it's very enlarged so if you're wearing gloves it makes it easier for the shooter and it's very smooth there's no jagged edges or anything so uh, on August 13th uh, of this year this gun will be three years old and I have yet to wear a hole at all or show any sign of wear and tear on taking this gun in and out of my gun sleeve or gun case so that is a very good sign it's got a rotating bolt head which it locks up the shell very very nice and it's not too difficult to uh, push back this bolt head to remove the uh, handle when you're disassembling the gun and this uh, bolt release is very very sensitive so that's, that makes it very good when you're uh, trying to load up an extra round and uh, shoot at a bird or it just really uh, relieves you of any pressure on your thumb things like that of, uh, compared to some other guns especially whenever it's cold your hands are sensitive and things like that. Now here's where um, I don't know this is just my observation I don't know how much people would uh, care about this but you know I was always taught to keep the bolt open on the gun so there's this little uh, chrome button or nickel button right here to lock the bolt back right but in this black gun case that I have it puts a, uh, it's nice and tight around the gun to where if it uh, it's like rocking like this in the truck maybe or if I hit some bumps it'll keep it nice and safe and in one place uh, you know it doesn't get right up around but it puts a lot of pressure and it hits this bolt release and wants to close the action and uh, I've seen where some people have complained where this button is sensitive to the point where they forgot about it and put their hand around here and the bolt closed. I've had that too 
but when it closed it didn't hurt the back of my hand and it did not pinch any skin so I wasn't too concerned about it. But I'll show you an example. I will hold this bolt release but you can hear it for yourself. Here you go. I'm going to apply a little pressure. A little bit. There you go. But it did not hurt. It hit right here. It didn't hurt but I did that once and didn't do it again. Like I said, that will not hurt you. And uh, like I said, you got some ripper grips right here. They uh, changed the barrel on this gun. Now it is this A400 Extreme Plus has the Stelium uh, Plus barrel. They lengthened the forcing cones to from six inches to 14 and a half, I believe, or 14 inches. And then they added a stepped rib to make it easier on picking up your target for the shooter. They uh, improved the blink gas system uh, so it's cleaner and you won't have to, uh, it burns cleaner and you won't have to do as much uh, maintenance when it comes to cleaning it during the season compared to the original model. And what I do like is that it has the same beadlock system. Uh, for the cap and it's a 60 degree turn like such and it locks in place it comes with two beads the f it's got a front uh, uh, fiber optic red bead and this gun comes with a mid bead but as you can see it's not there so almost six months into owning this gun the mid bead fell off, but I wasn't concerned about that because one, I don't pay attention to the mid bead. And growing up uh, bird hunting, my dad gave me his Remington 870, so I was used to shooting a gun that only had a front bead and not a mid bead. And then my current competition gun that I have right now for clay shooting only has a front bead and didn't even come with an option for, uh, or it has a front bead but didn't come with an option for a mid beat so that was normal to me after growing up on the 870 comes with five extended chokes I have uh, a molar passing choke in here right now so that's aftermarket but it comes with five black extended chokes that stick out about this uh, about the same length and it has the cylinder choke which is rated for steel improved cylinder rated for steel, modified which is rated for steel, and then it has improved mod which is not rated for steel and neither is its full choke. And it takes the Optima HP chokes. What I do like is, um, so I am sponsored by Molar Chokes, but prior to my sponsorship, this is my second year going uh, to my sponsorship of Molar Choke Tubes, but I've been shooting competitively since 8th grade and now I'm about to finish up my master's program. Uh, but I was shooting Muller Chokes product just for clay shooting uh, six years prior to getting my sponsorship. And prior, before I got a sponsorship with uh, Muller Chokes, I even bought my dad a uh, Muller Passion Choke to try out for his Super Black Eagle 2. And he loved it and I patterned it for him and it performed uh, flawlessly. So I decided to uh, my sponsor was kind enough to send me one of these and I love it but here is the gun and I it is ran every round that I've uh, fed through it um, some guns like a, a Benelli inertia gun depending on what model you have it can handle to the lightest uh, 12 gauge 1018 ounce loads or uh, 1 ounce loads but as a clay shooter I want to be able to you know, if I decide to just have fun, take this out to the sporting place course, or want to shoot with my dad and give him a gun that he doesn't have to worry about for when it comes to clay shooting, um, this gun can handle to the lightest 7 8 ounce loads. And so the exact round that I fed through the uh, fed through this gun, which I put two whole cases through it, was uh, the Federal International Skeet Loads, which was uh, uh, 7 8 ounce nine shot flying at uh, 1335 feet per second and it performed flawlessly and did not miss a beat and I shot it 
in a double skeet uh, competition and it performed great. And my dad has shot this, picked it up for the first time and then it just was crushing targets. He loved it. It's an absolutely soft shooting gun and the camo pattern has really really held up on this gun. Uh, there's not much wear and tear. There's only a little bit right here. A little a little bit on the bottom of the trigger guard, but it's not that noticeable unless you're the owner and you just, you know, nitpick your gun. Um, the safety, a lot of people don't like safeties on the front. They, they want them on the back. I grew up with, you know, the 870. I was used to the ones on the back, but the, uh, the safety is nice and big and it doesn't bother me, uh, you know, when I'm waiting for birds to come in to where if I have, uh, I don't need to put my hand forward to uh, get to the safety. I rest my hand exactly right here and my fingers long enough to where I can reach the safety, click it off, and you know, finger off the trigger so it's comfortable, it's in a good spot. And then I can just reach over and pull the trigger when I'm ready. Or, you know, if I, that's, if I want to have my hand like that, usually I'll, you know, I'll be sitting and waiting in the blind and then flip it and it's, it's ready to fire. So, teach their own, but that's how I do it. And uh, I like how they beveled out this loading port. It's very, very nice. And uh, if you notice right here, it's uh, smooth and flat. I like that because, you know, even I have small hands, but even my dad, he doesn't have problems loading up any shells in here, whether it's clay, uh, you know, clay target loads or uh, magnum duck loads or turkey loads, uh, compared to like his uh, Super Black Eagle 2, where, you know, uh, got the little indention in there, or it's part of the design, and his thumb gets snagged up. But. This is my gun. I love it to death, and I hope you enjoyed this review.